it's time to start curing these like as soon as you get them out of the ground you got to start curing them now if you notice one thing i did was i shook out the roots i didn't water them down or you know wash them off you never wash them off once you pull them out you want to start the curing process which is technically the drying out process so when you pull them out of the ground do not wash them shake them get all the dirt that you can off of them and then start the curing process just saw in that video clip from about five weeks ago that was when my daughter and i harvested all of our garlic well since then i've been curing the garlic the garlic has been in a cool dark dry place and it's ready to process so this video is going to be just simply about processing the garlic there's not a lot to it once it's been dried and to recap when you pull the garlic out of the ground and you harvest it basically that's when the curing stage starts you want to immediately get it to a cool dark dry place never wash off the dirt off the garlic once you pull it out of the ground Just brush off the dirt to start drying it out now as you can see here everything is good and dry there's no moisture left in the garlic so the first thing you want to do is we want to get these roots off. Now you want to get them as close to the clove as you can. So just using a pair of scissors, probably shouldn't use these scissors. These are my home scissors, but they're sharp. So about like that right there. Just scrape off the dirt that's left. Now the biggest thing about taking the roots off is garlic will continue to grow if there's any moisture around. The roots can actually bring the moisture back into the plant and continue growing, which is crazy. Um, but it's what it is. So once you've taken the roots off, the next part is to get rid of this. Now, if you want a longer shelf life, you want to keep some of the stem on the garlic. If you take it right down to here, you're cutting the, the shelf life probably in thirds. So what I'm gonna do to process this garlic is I'm gonna bring it to about right here. About two to three inches up the clove. Now what this does is it keeps the center of your garlic clove closed. There's no way that moisture can get down in to your, inside your garlic clove, which would cause uh, decay and fungus and mold and all that. You keep the stem here to absorb any moisture that might be in the air and it keeps it from coming down into your garlic clove. So that's it. That's a processed garlic clove. Now you can always do the stuff that you see in movies where you know they braid the garlic and hang them somewhere in the house. You can do that. Absolutely. I'm not doing that. I'm going to do this method right here. Put them away. Give these to a lot of friends who want fresh garlic and then save probably four or five cloves for the fall to plant as my seed garlics. So um, that's it. I mean, I took no time at all, like at all. And the garlic is harvested. I'm excited so, to actually start using this because you know, it, it takes a long time to grow garlic. And once you get it, you wanna take care of it so you have it. And that's the simplest way to process garlic right there. Now, of course, when you go to use the garlic, cut it, you know, cut it right there, open it up, use your garlic cloves as usual. But for storing it, this will give it about four to five months shelf life, maybe even a little bit longer um, from everything that I've researched. But that's it. Now, the last thing to do is to store it which we'll get into in, in just a minute. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead and harvest, or I'm gonna go ahead and process all this garlic right here. Okay, everyone, as you just saw on how I processed the garlic, all that garlic took me about seven minutes to go through and process. Now, I was also pulling off the skin off the garlic so garlic like this it's got all this dirt on it all you got to do is just slide it right off look at that and now you're good to go you can totally store this which 
brings me to the next thing, storing your garlic. Now, ideally, you want to store it in a container that has airflow, whether it's like a plastic bin like I'm going to use here, or like a wire basket, a wicker basket, just something that has airflow. You can, you can store them in like, say, a paper bag or whatever, but that cuts back on the shelf life because air can't really flow well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this basket right here. It's got, as you can see, holes in it. It's very airflowy. Um, I'm going to put some paper towels here at the bottom, and I'm going to sit the garlic in standing up. Now, of course, they're going to fall over, so probably doesn't make sense to do it that way. I'm going to put some paper towels at the bottom, and then I'll put some paper towels on top of them. Not, not thick, but just a little bit to help keep moisture away from the garlic itself when it's in the pantry and when you're done with that you're done your garlic has been processed and it's ready to use now i will say this and i highly advise this next point if you're going to cook with garlic which one of these would you rather use this little one or this big one you tell me leave some comments down below but what i'm going to do is i'm going to use these little ones for cooking and i'm going to use these big ones for seed garlic because the idea behind it is the garlic that you plant will be the garlic that grows at least that's the theory that I've read a lot about and I can see both ways so in the fall when I plant my garlic I'm going to use these bigger ones cooking and for me giving away I'm giving away the smaller ones the bigger ones I'm keeping for seeds there's all the garlic of course, I'm going to take some out for seeds and everything, but that's the garlic that I have. All right, everyone, so that's, that's it. That's the processing of garlic. Now, the processing literally only takes minutes. The curing takes weeks, and the growing, of course, takes months. So the final step, though, minutes. Very easy, very quick, not a lot to it. So, hey, everyone, I hope you all got something out of this video. I hope you learned something from it. I hope that I was able to convey I hope I was able to show and convey just how easy the processing part of garlic is. I, honestly, I've show, I showed you everything that I did there. Really easy. So if you all enjoyed this video, as always, please share it with someone who might find it educational or useful. Like the video if I earned that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I would appreciate it. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. As always, guys, just type in Down Home Backyard Gardening throw it in the search box and you'll find me and continue to shine bright and harvest hard.